How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of mystery beer goodness. Hopeful goodness, actually. In the form of, we have no idea. Because that's the whole shtick. The old mystery beers. We don't have any idea what we're drinking. We do know that it's a fucking stout, though. Um, yeah, this one comes courtesy of Steve, and he, he dropped me off a gigantic box of Connecticut porn jammers, and this was in there. Sweet, delicious paper towel wrapped in a whole buttload of packing tape, so it should be quite fun to dive into. And look at that. That has a, kind of a rich, dark, stout vibe kind of... It has a big, rich, dark, stout vibe written all over it. But here's the thing, and this is kind of like a little bit, and I'm sure Stephen didn't do this on purpose, but he sent me two mystery beers that were separated from the rest, and he said these are bigger ABV ones. So I assume almost all the other ones are relatively low ABV. But he could be fucking with me. I don't know. Anyway, uh, almost three fingers, infinite chocolate creaminess up on top. A um, little bit of rockiness is uh, kind of like um, uh, kind of collapsing onto itself, giving this kind of weird kind of creaminess up top. It looks really nice. Pretty super tight compact bubbles. He's saying a couple bit of stragglers. And like I said, that is rich, deep, and dark. So yeah, looks all the bits and pieces of a big old stout. Let's get a nose. This is a core four beer. If it's not core four, there's a little bit of lactose in there. So I might be dealing with a milk stout. I'm getting a little bit of like West Coast danky vibes on it. So while I do think it's a stout or a porter, we could be kind of dipping our toes in a little bit of Cascadian dark. So you're getting a rich roasted malt. It's not overly bittering on that aspect of things. A nice soft chocolate creaminess that has a little bit of milk chocolate vibes to it. Hence the whole kind of me going, maybe it has a little bit of milk stout. And then you get that nice kind of bittering that is absolutely 100% coming from hops and is not coming from roasted malt. But it's a very soft nose. There's really not much to it. Well, it's meaningful and purposeful. It's not like a two by four to the face. So we're probably talking something a little bit on the lower ABV, ABV front. Let's dive in. Cheers. Wow. Wow. That's bitter. Wow. That is bitter. Wow. Guess what? That beer is bitter. Wow. It's got a big, huge bittering component to it. Gigantic. Icky, sticky, dank, rich weediness. West Coast vibes, but with a whole heaping help of weed involved. Super bittering with a nice, rich, kind of chocolate kind of floating around in there. I don't think it's a big ABV beer. I think it's relatively on a lower ABV scale. Let's say right around like 6 7%. But man, is that bitter. Uh, this is a porter. This is hopped up to whole hell. If this is not a fucking Alchemist beer... I'm going to go crazy. Now, look, look, it has a black cap on it. That's kind of an alchemist thing, but there's a lot of breweries up there in New England area that do the whole kind of black uh, pull tab thing, I should say, or pop tap uh, kind of thing. So it could be something other than that, but man, this, this has fucking Kimmich written all over it. <sighs> Kimmich. I always fuck up his name. I said it to his face. I fucked it up. That's how awesome I am at interviewing people. Anyway, yeah, it's... um. It's big, it's dank, it's resinous, it's piney, it's it's all the things you would expect from a huge, gigantic, no-holds-barred, relentless West Coast IPA. It just so happens to be a porter. Um, I could still see somebody going Cascadian Dark with this, but for me, it's more just a really kind of hopped-up porter. I've had their Pappy's Porter before. I've had Bub. I don't think this is... This could be a really hyper-fresh Bub. It could. But it's in that range. Let's put it that way. It's a 6.8% um, uh, porter uh, hopped all the fucking hell. And it's made by the Alchemist. So, yeah. Let's dive in in a second. And see what it actually is. No date in the bottom, so... I didn't look beforehand, but no date in the bottom, so that kind of gets you a little bit closer to being an alchemist beer, because hell will freeze over before John actually dates some of his cans, so yeah. Oh, I can't believe I got the beginning of that. I'm amazed. Let's see what the sucker is. Uh, Beezlebub. How about that? Yeah, I mean, 8%. I said 6.8. I wanted to go a little bit bigger, but with how much bittering there was thrown at it, um, I just, you know, I kind of thought it was a little bit smaller, but it, I even forgot what uh, Beezlebub kind of came in at as far as ABV. But it kind of reminded me of that, but it's super hyper fresh. I mean, those weed, 
dank notes in it are absolutely off the charts crazy. And that's pretty much it, man. God damn. This is fucking weed. This is chocolate-covered weed. That's not a bad thing, either. I'm digging this a lot right now. Um, I kind of wanted a big beer today. I don't have a ton of non-mystery beer that are big beers, so I'm kind of kind of pumped that this ended up being a mystery beer open. Uh, first one of the shot of the night, uh, so we're going to have to dive into a couple non um, uh, opposite polar opposite beers so our palate are, isn't crushed. But yeah, man, the hops in this, the way this beer comes off, burps, was unmistakably alchemist with the way how much weed was involved with it. And I've always dug this beer. I'm not the biggest super overt bittering guy when it comes to my big darker beers, but I just so love with the way that John fucks with his beers and the way he puts that kind of super weed component into his beers. It always just kind of makes me super fucking happy. So this is uh, it is no different. I mean, I've reviewed it before. You can go back and watch my actual review. Actually, I believe I reviewed it before. I'm almost positive I reviewed it before. But you can go back and watch my review, uh, see what I said about that, see if it kind of matches up with this. Only caveat is, you know, I believe this is a way more danky, way more bittering, way more weed-like um, than what I even remember it being. And it's not that long ago. It's actually about, about less than a year ago that I've had this beer. And I picked it up direct from the brewery. So, um, yeah, super tasty, big, huge, um, roasty, toasty stout with a whole heaping helping of weed thrown at it. Done and done. Good as these. <coughs> Ooh, hey, boy. Uh, anyway, let's talk about this mystery beer. Is it one of the better imperial stouts I've had? Are we just going to go with that on it, even though it's super bitter? Yeah, let's go there. Yes, actually it is. Um, it's a core four beer. It's absolutely delicious. And and even though I'm not someone typically go gaga for the overly hopped bittering thing in my imperial stouts, it works and works really well with this one. Value availability. How come this beers usually aren't that expensive? Right? What are they? Uh, I forget the price. I always forget the price. They're, I think they're fourteen dollars a four pack, every four pack of every beer that he makes. So take that for what it's worth, and leave you with if you like what we like this beer, if you like big roasty stouts and you like weed, this is gonna do you all that kind of proper. There you go. Another mystery beer in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. Massivebeers at gmail.com if you want to reach out and uh, kind of help the whole mystery beer cause. Can't do them without you guys. So, um, uh, you know, people facilitate them like um, awesome Steven uh, up there. And, uh, yeah, if you want to get on that uh, train, shoot me an email. On the other net. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed your review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little Alchemist beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.